Hi then, for today's video I've got a question here from Dakota, and Dakota's asking the following. I'm running a 50k later this year, and want to build up to a 50 miler by next spring. Are there any good training plans? Now Dakota, very importantly, when it comes to training plans, be it for a 50k, be it for a 50 mile, miler, any training plan that you follow, will be better than following no training plan at all. And any of the free resources you get off the internet are likely to be as good as any of the others. It's not the training plan itself that will make you more capable or less capable of finishing your 50k or for that matter finishing your 50 miler next spring. What is going to be making the difference is the degree to which you can stay on plan. The degree to which uh, life and work commitments and family commitments do not interfere with your progress through the plan at a steady rate. What I find as a coach with many of the people that come to me for coaching that have been on training plans that they've gotten for free off the net is that they haven't been able to stay exactly on plan, work out for work out for work out all the way through their training plan. So what happens is a couple of the workouts, possibly a couple of the key workouts, tend to get skipped, and after that they try to play catch-up for the missed workouts. And then in the process of playing catch-up for the missed workouts, they don't take note of the necessary recovery that they need in between workouts, land up getting overtrained, land up getting injured, land up becoming just simply over-fatigued by the time it gets to their key race. So from a coach's point of view, Following a training plan that you can pick up for free off the internet, by all means, do so. The tricky part comes in is when you've got other events that you want to factor into your plan, or for that matter, when family, life, and work commitments start getting in the way of completing certain key workouts, then you're going to be having to play this struggle, self-coaching type of role of how to bring yourself back on track without burning yourself out and without causing yourself injury. The biggest challenge that I have with new athletes that are starting with me is getting them to go slow enough on their easy days so that they can get the recovery and for that, that matter also taking note of the importance of having recovery within their workout range. That's my take on the matter. Feel free to share any comments and questions you might have down below. If you like this type of content, thumbs up. If not, thumbs down, then I know what to be putting out in the future. And also, last but by no means least, down below the screen over there is a big red subscribe button. Click that red subscribe button, that way you stay subscribed to my channel for all of the new content that is coming out on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis. Stay carved up for the win out there. I'll see you next time. Cheers.